Okay, here's just a, a quick overview of uh, my workbench. So I come outside here, I've uh, got some posters up there, a uh, big motorsport fan. I've uh, got some photos there of when I flew in a BRC Strike Master. Uh, we'll be building a kit of that aircraft at some point. A uh, couple of quick shout outs. Uh, over on Instagram, check out Kiwi Cam Sobbies, a uh, great modeler. I uh, do like my SMS and Tamiya products and uh, do listen regularly to On The Bench, a great Aussie podcast with uh, Dave, the uh, pod father, Ian and Julian, down here. We have Clyde, my little mate, uh, just keeping an eye on some notes, uh, some kits for future builds and some reference material. Under the desk we have some more kits and various supplies, coming up on the bench itself. Uh, my brushes, uh, various adhesives, the uh, paint stirrer in there, coming up to the paints, so we have... SMS, Outlaw, uh, Tamiya, Mr. Colour, Mr. Hobby Aqueous. I've uh, got some panel lines and various things in there. Mr. Surfaces. And up here we have a uh, decal setting solutions, a few containers, some tape, uh, various bits and pieces. I've got some uh, music up here just to uh, keep me entertained. And of course, the old Wombats. Uh, the helmet you can see there, half scale helmet that will be redone with a custom spray job. Coming around, uh, we have. Just a couple of lights, just to keep things bright. Uh, have some storage in the back there. Have a notice board, just with some ideas for upcoming builds. Uh, you can see, just hanging there off the bottom of the light on a magnetic clip, uh, instructions for current builds. Coming over here, just have, uh, like a lot of uh, modelers of a certain vintage, uh, the eyesight's going, so have the uh, Optivisor over there. Uh, a few supplies at the back there. You can see some uh, icky sticky products. So uh, the uh, sprue cutters uh, have got the uh, tungsten micro drills in at the back there. Uh, icky sticky, great Aussie company. Head over, um, give them some support. www.ickysticky.com.au. Got uh, a few bits and pieces there for um, current build. The uh, Tamiya M113 Fire Sport Vehicle, which is a build in progress. Actually, it's been in progress for about 25 years. <laughs> We've got uh, an Eshi LAV there, which is going to act as a paint mule for some upcoming uh, Aslo builds. Coming down underneath, you can see I've got a, uh, some current projects. So we've got a uh, Ravel Shelby Cobra there in 24th scale. Uh, it had been painted up, but it's been stripped. I didn't like it, so I've got to repaint it. Uh, in the back there, I've got an uh, Italeri uh, 172nd uh, Wessex helicopter. Uh, that'll be built up. Got some paints there for current and upcoming projects. Uh, little containers here. Just got some parts from a uh, 24th scale uh, Valside uh, Supra that I'm going to be building with my 12 year old daughter. Coming across, I uh, got some more tools, so all my cutting stuff and you know, files, tweezers, such and such. Coming up, uh, so on the left there, you've got uh, instructions and notes for some upcoming builds and a few bits and pieces. So there's some yeah, plus truck sheet and stuff in there, a lot of post it notes for masking and just for writing down notes. In the back there, you will see a Valinden uh, 120th scale uh, Vietnam uh, US radio operator. I will be building that up when I get my uh, figure painting mojo on. Uh, just up the top here, just quickly. Uh, again, uh, Mandalorian. So he, that's my Lego Mando shrine. Uh, coming down. So we have my airbrush, which is just a cheap Chinese Hsing brush. Uh, respirator and mask. Uh, air compressor hiding down the bottom there. Coming across, got a little uh, portable light booth uh, so for photo shoots. So it's just a folding one, uh, LED lights here that my wife bought me. So I use that just for small photo shoots. And coming down here, we have my poor excuse for a spray booth, which at the moment is just a uh, who gives a crap toilet paper box. Uh, in there, you can see just my paint mule. And also got in there a Harrier, which is a current build uh, that will be based on my little gecko friend there. So that's not too far off finished. Just going to give that another few colours and spray. Come around to the bookshelf. So I have all my instructions and decals and some reference material in these folders. So I keep everything together, sorted by category. Coming down, I have my modelling magazines and various other reference material. And that's pretty much it. So it was just a uh, quick look through uh, the Wombat Burrow. Thanks, guys.